Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends HasLab exclusive uh, figures for the Sentinel, uh, which is Bastion, or the male um, Prime Sentinel, and the female Prime Sentinel. Uh, we'll go over the one that has the accessories, we already went over the box, if you guys want to check out my HasLab Sentinel review, we're doing a separate one for these two uh, reviews. So we'll just start with the one that has the accessory, which is the male prime sentinel first. Just... So first he has one accessory, which is this extra head sculpt here. And then, so this is basically the prime sentinel helmet. This is Bastion head sculpt. Uh, so yeah, you get that like sentinel looking, uh, helmet around his head. You get that nice sculpt around it. It looks like he has a crown around his face front side. You get this nice metallic purple going on, light purple. And then you get the pink eyes there. And then you get that chin strap thing going on. And then the face part's open for you to see his face. Uh, that's all we got for the looks of the accessory there. And then here we have the Bastion head sculpt and the Prime Sentinel uh, body. So here uh, you get this really cool head sculpt. So yeah, you get this white hair with some grays in there to give it more depth. And then you got the pink eyes in there. You can get some wash in there to give it more depth in the face, and especially in the eyes too. And then down along the jaw and then to the chin, you get this like mechanical looking face there. You get some silver bleeding there uh, to the face and then also some tan in there where the paint mist. And then you get it through the lower lip and you get this like beard, chin beard going on here with the white. And then the neck is really cool. I like that a lot. The metallic uh, robot looking wires around his neck. I like that sculpt a lot. And then you get some gold around the collar bone area, kind of. And then, yeah. And then you get this red triangular, like, arc reactor thing. that you Whatever you want to call it, you get that. And then you get this metallic purple there again around his shoulder through the middle of the chest to give you the arrow look. And then you get some gold detail in here on the side of his abs there. Just that side, though. And then the rest of the figure is just uh, matte black. So, yeah. That's all we really got for looks for him. So, let's go over the articulation. So, he has a disc ball joint. Oh, yeah. One more thing, actually. He still has pinless joints. Um, I thought they were going to be... Not pinless. They are pin joints, I mean, because you can see them. I see that they're trying to get rid of those... Uh, by clogging that up, but you can still see it with this forearm here. So, same thing on that. And then also the legs also have them still. So, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but that's just something to point out. All right, now the articulation. He has a disc ball jointed head. He can move his head down just that much. The chin beard kind of gets in the way. He can look up that far. He can look left and right. Uh, a little head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out just that far. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an app crunch, so he can go forward that much, backwards that much. He has a waist swivel, 360 rotation there, kicks out just that far, forward that far, backwards that much, thigh cut, double jointed knees, if it can get up, no, okay. And you also got a shin cut here. Uh, the paint's kind of like stuck. There we go. Had to loosen it a little bit. You get a shin cut there. Ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here it is with the Prime Sentinel head sculpt on. But I do prefer the Bastion head sculpt for him. So yeah. This is a pretty cool figure. Next we got the female Prime Sentinel figure. So here's that. She's got that light blonde here with some white in the inner parts to give it more depth, like I've said. But I think it's like reverse kind of. Um, then you got that face. You get red lipstick there. You get that metallic uh, headpiece around her face there uh, with the metallic purple. And then you get the pink eyes there with the long lashes and a little bit of eyebrow. And you also get that uh, robotic neck piece there, which is really cool. And then you get the purple collar around her uh, neck there, 
around her, uh, right next to her shoulders and around her traps. And then, like I said, uh, it's just bla uh, matte black for the rest of the figure. So, yeah, that's all we really got for the looks. So, let's go over to her articulation. She has a disc ball joint also, so she can look down that far. She can look up just that far. The hair kind of gets in the way, left and right. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Uh, single joints at the elbow still. And then you can swivel it a little bit. And then wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. She has a diaphragm joint that it makes her go forward, not really a whole lot. Backwards a little bit, side to side. You get some twisting in there. Legs can kick out that far, forward, that far, backwards that much. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, which are still pinned. And then ankles can hinge down that far. And then up that far, nice ankle pivot. So that is the female Prime Sentinel and the male Prime Sentinel with the Bastion head sculpt uh, for you for the review. I really like these figures. I think they're really cool. Uh, I would say I would recommend them, but they were exclusively for the HasLab Sentinel, uh, which you had to order like last year. And they were up for order for only a month. So uh, yeah, you, and they're not making these again uh, for separate. These You can only get these with the HasLab Sentinel. So but these are pretty cool figures. I'm keeping mine. Uh, whereas some people are like selling the Sentinel and stuff like that. I'm keeping mine for a while until I actually need the money or something desperately. But uh, yeah, these are these are really cool figures, like I said. And they're a really cool addition for the Sentinel here that I have in the back. And they match pretty well with that Sentinel. So I will have them displayed with the Sentinel. And yeah, that's all I really got for this. So make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description. It has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and PayPal if you want to help donate so I can keep doing this. I have a bunch of reviews still coming up. Uh, I just am running a little behind because they have like three waves coming out all out at once. Like the Eternals, they have the X-Men Apocalypse wave, Spider-Man, uh, and then the What If. And there's like four waves actually. And then plus uh, like... the two G.I. Joe ones that I still have to put up. So, yeah, that's all I really got. Thanks for watching.